Hello and in this screencast on Apache ISIS I want to go through some of the built-in features that we have in support of commands, background, commands uh, and uh, auditing and publishing and that type of thing. So I have running the uh, to-do application that we have generated by the Quick Start app and I've run in the fixtures so what we're seeing is uh, one of the objects and um, immediately what I can do is I can click on the recent ac uh, changes action and look at the changes that have happened to this object and because I've just created it we can see we've got a bunch of audit entries indicating it's a new object and there's also a published event so let's go and have a look at the buy bread action object again and let's uh, let's do an action on it let's let's do a command in fact and we're going to mark this object as completed and let's now look at the changes once more and we can see now that we have an additional command uh, which is uh, in a sense the, the cause of the change as well as an audit entry which is the effect of the change and again we have a couple of published events so let's click into the command and look at that and we can see it's basically a representation of the of the action I invoked um, categorized by the action name some other useful interesting information is the duration that it took so we could sort of do some profiling based upon that um, and then if I scroll down the bottom we have some contributed collections so you can see that we can see the audit entries in other words the changes that um, occurred as a result of that action both on this object and potentially on other objects too and all this is correlated by a transaction ID that's a, a unique GUID so if I click into the audit entry we can see that this is saying that the complete property changed from false to true and I can go back to my parent command again and we can also have a look at the published events and there were two because the object was updated and so there's a representation of that event and it'll also want to represent the action invocation itself and so if I went to say look at the object updated event then we have a whole bunch of JSON that you could imagine a, a say a camel um, component subscribing to and sending on its way so that is um, the command being invoked. Let me take this thing back to being not completed and what I want to do now is show you background commands so that was all run in the foreground. If I click on schedule explicitly then this is going to um, schedule to explicitly uh, complete the uh, uh, object uh, in, but in the background so let me see if I can show you what that means. Let's click on schedule explicitly and so we get a little message up here so that's been scheduled for completion and if I just click on this now you can see it's actually been completed so the code that ran there was in fact uh, this code where, where we delegated off to the background service and we said run this action complete slowly um, and inform the user that's been scheduled and then elsewhere on here complete slowly is uh, going to actually do the do the job of, of, of waiting a while and then setting the object to complete so that's um, the scheduled explicitly. Let's go back to the recent changes and have a look to see what we can see. And so we can see that um, the command was uh, scheduled to complete. Um, and then some seconds later, we had the actual background command that was uh, executed. Uh, and, and so there are actually two commands there. And you can see that was actually invoked by the scheduler user that caused those changes to occur. So that's um, the idea of background commands. That's, that's um, explicitly calling the background service. Let's reset again. And this time what I'm going to do is call schedule implicitly. And let's see what we get this time. And so what I'm given back as a response is basically the command object that's been scheduled for me. For me. And if I were then to open up the object uh, that's the target, that we can see hopefully by now it's been completed again. And so what was going on there was we were invoking schedule implicitly where that actually has the, um, the change to be made but you can see the command annotation is saying that's to be executed in the background so again the, con the, uh, the scheduler picked that up. So if, again if I were to go to the recent changes we can see that we once more have the command um, but then that is picked up and run by the scheduler. 
OK, so you can see hopefully quite a few features available to you, um, giving a fairly comprehensive um, auditing and profiling and background service capability. OK, hope that was of interest and uh, please check it out by going to isis.apache.org.